Hi, my name's Karen E. Wells, and welcome to this fully accredited Hypnotherapy for Children diploma course. Now, before we move into the first module, you will have listened to the introduction video first of all, and then you would have clicked onto the next lecture, which holds the training manual. Now, as in with all of my courses, it's a great idea to be able to download the training manual so that you can work alongside that um, with the video modules. Within the training manual, uh, we're giving you some scripts to work on particular aspects, so it is really imperative that you have that training manual as you work through the videos with us. Okay, so first of all, let's look at hypnosis and children for the first module. It's really important to define, obviously, the age of the child that you're going to be working with. Now, if you're looking at working with teenagers, they're really young adults, so you can treat them, if you like, in the same way as that you would do an adult. So if you're looking at a teenager for, say, age 13 onwards, obviously, depending on the individual, because each person is different, then you would treat them in the same way as that you would an adult, and do a suggestion therapy session in the same way as what you would do for an adult. Now this course is aimed really just at suggestion therapy. We're not bringing regression into this. Certainly regression isn't suitable for children of a young age. Once they get to teenagers, into those late teenage years, then yes, you can do regression back to the cause of the issue with them. But this course primarily is working on suggestion hypnotherapy with children. So, as I say, just to recap, if they are teenagers, then you're going to treat them in the same way as that you would treat an adult coming to you with a lack of confidence, who's experiencing bullying, um, bedwetting, um, anxiety. So the same issues that are really prevalent for children can also be carried into adulthood too. The main thing is that we're aware that many issues start in childhood. So this is really where we want to nail what's actually going on for the client, the child, if you like. When you're, use, when you're dealing with children and hypnosis, so in those younger years, and you're really typically looking at the age of perhaps five or six onwards, then you're looking at really engaging their imagination it doesn't, they don't have to have their eyes closed in the same way as that a teenager or an adult would have their eyes closed. You can take them into that light hypnotic state with their eyes closed. You can bring in superheroes, you can bring in people that they look up to. And when we work through the modules here, looking at particular things that you're going to be helping them with, we're gonna look at specifically how you're going to do that. But for younger children, because it's more difficult for them, if you like, to bring their awareness inside, they can very easily go into a light hypnotic state and go into that dreamlike state, which of course is, uh, you know, the alpha uh, brainwave with hypnosis. Then um, you know that they're absolutely fine doing that with their eyes open. We're going to move through the modules now and we'll look at specifically how you're going to target the lack of confidence, bedwetting, bullying, and stress and anxiety. Looking forward to seeing you on the next module. Have a great day.